Satellite news gathering is the process by which satellites are used to deliver live events and breaking news to audiences all around the globe. Basic SNG operations is just one of a range of satellite communications courses offered by BeaconSeq. It is a unique course and is the only one that we run typically twice a year in May and October and is open to all. Held at the fantastic venue of Putteridgebury on the outskirts of Luton in the UK, it has a fabulous south-facing terrace which allows us to be able to access virtually any satellite in the geostationary arc. The course is aimed at beginner to intermediate level, with delegates coming from a range of backgrounds. For example, camera and sound crew wishing to widen their skill base, TV master control room staff looking at what happens in the field, satellite booking staff working for broadcasters and satellite operators. With a strict limit of a maximum of six delegates, the course is structured to lead through from theoretical first principles to actually undertaking practicals that include live transmissions to a satellite. A full colour bound workbook is provided to guide the delegates through all the aspects of satellites and their use in broadcasting. The first day is an intensive one. It is not a boring PowerPoint presentation, but a lively and dynamic learning experience. We look at live signals as they are received from satellites and discuss how and what we are seeing. Delegates are taught how to set up an SNG antenna and how to find satellites manually. By the end of day two, they will have rigged the system for transmission and undertaken live lineup testing with a satellite operator. In my role as broadcast manager, I know who to speak to to get satellite problems fixed. But when I sit in on meetings where we're launching new channels and making changes to services, the technical language is above my head and I'm unable to contribute. The course is first class. It's um, quite heavy on the theory side at the beginning, but once you get into the practical side of it afterwards, it's, it's really demystified. I know exactly what they mean now by the parameters which used to intimidate me in these meetings, the modulation, the symbol rate. So I feel now that not only do I understand them, but I could actually come along to a meeting with confidence and um, perhaps make recommendations which could save us money. There's lots of time to get your hands on the equipment, make um, satellite connections and bookings. Uh, you learn you know, a lot more than you probably would need to know if you went out in the field. On day three, the delegates are very much left on their own to rig the equipment, find the relevant satellites, carry out lineup testing, with each having a chance to undertake a complete transmission including talking to the satellite operator control centre. The spectrum analyzer is introduced and delegates learn how to use them as an aid to finding and identifying satellites. Of increasing importance in SNG is the use of KA band terminals. So recognising this, we've included this topic in both the theory and practical sessions of the course. The delegates are also shown the operation of an SNG truck equipped with auto pointing to appreciate the differences between the manual operations they've been undertaking with the flyaway with an automated setup. Delegates achieve the awarding of a certificate at the end of the course. The granting of the certificate is measured in two ways. Firstly, via a written multiple choice test given on day two. And secondly, by continuous assessment of their performance throughout the practical sessions the Basic SNG Operations course offers a unique opportunity for delegates to learn both the principles and the practicalities of SNG, as well as the wider context of satellite communications. This three-day course delivers fantastic value, far beyond the financial cost, in seeking to develop delegates' careers. So in this video we have shown what can be learnt, and we look forward to seeing you on one of these courses in the very near future.